Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today we're going to do part two, which is the same day as part one. Just got regrouped. <laughs> so this is going to be part two of the dash, but part eight of the tractor build. So uh, what I've done is I thought I was recording a while ago, and I wasn't. So I'm going to pan you down here and let you see. What we got going on. What I did is made a pattern of this that would set right there just like that. And then I put it on there and drawed it out. I got a left and a right. So we're going to use tread aluminum for that. I think that's going to look pretty good. So we're going to do tread aluminum. And I'm just going to take these over to the bandsaw and bandsaw them and we'll meet you at the bandsaw. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put these back to back to where they're straight. And then we're going to add it to the uh, vise. Now because we didn't get these uniform, we're going to make them uniform now. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to clamp this so it's tight. And this is only for vibration purposes only. Because this is going to vibrate really bad. And then we're going to file these. See if we can get something a little stiffer. Actually, I could take the dot or the grinder. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll take the grinder and do that. So now we've got both our pieces made for there. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine. Alright, so now we want to work on this side and figure out what we got to do. So let's start by separating all these from the panel that we're not going to be using. Alright, and the USB port. And might as well do, undo the switch too. Oh, 
All right, for starters, we need to figure out where this is going to go. And I would imagine it's going to go right there. So we're going to put us a hole right there. Actually, let's come down. I kind of want it to fall in the middle of one of these so that I ain't got to trim so much. Yeah, I think we put it right there in the middle of that. So right there, not this one. Alright, that's going to be for the lighter. Now this, I'm just going to take and finish that circle right there. And I think that'll work just fine. As soon as I find me a washer, that size. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to round that off right there. So, that'll take care of that one. And then I have to drill that one. I have to drill that one. So, we'll get ready to move this out of the way. And grab our jigsaw. Make some noise. We're going to take our file here. this out so we need to figure out what size we need for that. Now we're going to do a one inch hole. Man I hate doing one inch holes. That's a big old bit man and it likes to grab so we're going to go gradually with it hopefully that'll not be so bad. It'd be nice if I had a hole saw, but we're going to have to work ourselves down. So we're going to have to do them walking down from size to size. So to start with, we will grab drill wherever it's at. And we're going to start out with a pilot hole.
Yeah. God, I hate doing these. I'm going to have to put this one on the floor to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this hole out, and then I'll come back with you guys. All right, so now we've got the uh, USB port done. We got the lighter port done. This one here, what we're going to do to it, it's a little different. We're going to stick this up there. Now, let me get my panel back on there. And then we're going to mark the back side of that where the square is. That's what we need to do. So, we need to cut another one inch hole. Man, I hate cutting them big one inch holes. And that'll go right in there just like that. So now we're going to find the center of that with our ruler. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. We're going to take and mark this where center is, and that's where we're going to put our hole. All right, and this piece here is just as simple as dirt drilling it out the same size as this is wide on both ends and then take a jigsaw and just cut straight down it and then file it when you're done. I'm not sure I'm going to use that hole right there however I should put it in there just in case I might need to add something later like maybe a choke a manual choke so this will be used this will be used and this will be covered but made a round hole instead so Let's do that. All right, guys. Now, we've got this one cut. It's going to go right there just like that. The bolt holes line up, and then I'll just screw that on there. And the same thing with this side here. That one right there, and that one right there, and I think that'll look pretty cool. What y'all think? So now I just gotta put the screws in. Just like that, and then the throttle here, USB here, so there's the dash in the second stage.
Now ain't a whole lot I can do about down here. It's going this year I'm gonna be using for my um, it's gonna be my brake lever and and then we get to spray it. So now I've got to dig that out. Which that thing's considerably bigger. So we'll work on that and come back. We'll have this painted and put together. Alright guys, we went ahead and painted it. We've got everything on it. Got the digital voltage gauge, which I gotta straighten up. Your hole for your throttle. USB, which I gotta straighten that one too. That's crooked too. <laughs> and then we got the lighter. And then the switch, when I get it ready cleaned up. I got all the wire and harness right here that needs to be cleaned up. That needs to be taken out of line because I'm not putting an amp meter in. I'm using digital voltmeter. And we've got the inside of it painted with gloss black and then the outside of it with black hammered. I touched it up here and got me a couple fingerprints on it, but um, once it dries and I polish it, it'll look really good. So, then we got uh, a few more things to put on it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got the plug for this hole. We got the hood bumpers. I'm going to have to water that hole out a little bit. that down at. Oh, back here. And then that one plugs that hole. I think I might have to go up a drill bit back. that hole and the dash is ready to be installed so then I'll put a screw up here because it's, it locks with two ears down here but these two ears are broke off and I'll show you what I did so you get a good understanding as to what, how, how I did it I just put a little L bracket there. Just put a little L bracket on it. And these two here clips in the spot. And then the screw goes down into the other one. So 
I think that'll make a good deal right there. Now we ain't got to worry about that coming off. So, there is the, the new dash panel. New look. And, uh, I suppose that will end this part. Make sure I'm not cutting my head off. Man, I swear I hate heartburn, man. So there you have it. Dash panel is done. Taking the tape off. That's actually the most fun. I, the best part. Uh, the best part of my painting is taking the tape off. I always like that new sticker look or new paint. Here, I'll give you a look at that real quick. Okay, got my sticker there. Didn't have to do away with it because that's the actual motor and it is a Kohler. So I wanted to keep that on there and the other side's on there too. So we're going to make this a nice looking tractor. And uh, I mean, there's, there's no limit to what you can do to decorate these things to make them look good. And uh, I plan to put a little more tread aluminum on it. What I need to find is an old toolbox that's been up that somebody ain't wanting. Find one and get some tread aluminum out of it so I can have some pretty big sizes because it'd be nice to put a plate on the side of this thing. But, uh, you know, we're down here on the bottom. Of course, you're not looking at that now. But there's the dash. It's done. That will end part two of the desk or the, the uh, dashboard and this will be part nine of the tractor rebuild craftsman tractor rebuild so guys don't forget uh, if you feel that you want to uh, contribute to the shop it allows me to put more into the project and you know I got to pay the electric bill for running all these tools and stuff like that It'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, the way you support me is to just PayPal the money to bisonworkshop at gmail.com. It's at the beginning and the end of every one of my videos. So uh, it don't have to be much. A dollar or two here and there goes a long way to getting stuff to, to fix this stuff up with. So anyway, Hope y'all have a great day, and you guys have a good one. Later.